So, like I was talking about in another video, Twitter is collapsing. Now, you don't... Ow, fuck. Oh my god, I cut my skin. I'm leaving this all in, too. Uh, so, if you don't know, Elon Musk is now the CEO of Twitter. He got it for $44 billion, which... You know, and he has to pay interest. Well, not interest. He has to pay his debt back because he took out loans and all that. So he has to pay one billion dollars a year alone just to do that. And that's not that's not counting. He probably wants to try to make a profit off of Twitter. So adding all of that, he's doing anything to try to make money. So first, he has been letting off staff. Now, uh, I mean, I think he let off like the vice president, the creative team, a lot of people. He wants to get rid of about seventy-five percent of the uh, staff, which is. It's a big number. 75% is a big number to let go of a company. I think, I don't know how much Twitter actually has, but still letting out that many people just to save, obviously you want to save like millions of dollars, which you'll probably get by letting go of these people, will be good. And he's also paying them back with sentiment, like about 50% of what they actually uh, would get over three months, I think. So, I mean, it's it just it sucks because you're out of a job, but you still... But uh, not all people will be able to get it, but you have time to uh, at least look for another job to get uh, another position to start getting income again. Now we have, let's talk about the verification. Now that verification bullshit, oh, it's just, I think it's just so stupid. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, so now he's implementing a way so that, you know, which I, I said in my last video that they have some way to get your credit card onto Twitter, which is his first step is you pay, I think eight or $7 a month to be verified on Twitter. Which there's pros and cons to that. The pros is that that uh, for the smaller people you have that verification badge. So maybe I don't know how Twitter. I don't know if this is a Twitter land, but like you're more certified, I guess. So people are like, oh my god, he has a verification. So maybe he's more known, more popular. And also the cons, maybe for even brands. Brands like that. I think they like. They probably like that. I don't really know. But the cons is that now if you're uh, if you have the badge or you're uh, verified, you automatically get pushed. So that gets rid of all the free speech bull crap that he was talking about, which his whole premise of buying Twitter was for that. So to go against that, or to just maybe not go against that, for to just add that in so people wouldn't even notice, it's kind of a little, a little scummy for you to be the whole freedom of speech type of thing that you're going for, like Elon. And also the con is that you get, uh, so if you're not verified or if you try to like make jokes about like being impersonating someone, you can just get your account deleted or when you're not verified, your messages actually gets pushed down in the reply. So let's say someone is verified, they start talking and I, I want to talk with them, my stuff will get pushed down lower into the algorithm than someone verified. And it also sucks for the fact, for the simple fact that there'd be a lot of crypto scams scammers paying that eight dollars a month to have that check so they're like oh my god this guy has a check you know to go for people like that and this guy has a check let me actually you know see what he's talking about maybe like maybe buy his product type b which is you know just ruins the site i i, I also don't even use twitter that much i use twitter i do i use twitter like anyone i never i don't ever post i literally just read when my friends tweet every once in a while, I laugh. I maybe read like what, like your rage, or it's just people like that read every once in a while. But I'm not a Twitter user. I don't put out my thoughts on Twitter. I don't. I don't like. I mean, hey, to each their own. But it's just not for me. But just adding these things, I don't know. Maybe Elon was not the right guy to get Twitter. I, I had a little. I had, I did have faith. I think I thought this was gonna be a good idea, just for the fact that you know Elon is a Twitter guy. You know he build tesla but people were right that building working on like cards and technology is way better than making social media because social media is all about brands you need that money from brands to make some profit if you don't have brands you don't have people all if you don't have those two come influencers and people if you don't have those two things goodbye to your business <laughs> you know what i'm saying but yeah i mean i don't think it would be too bad right now Obviously, if he could, he'll probably try to sell it off for someone. But looking at the state of Twitter, <laughs> no one's trying to get that type. No one. Now, he thought about bringing back Vine. I don't know if I said that in my last video. Which, I mean, I don't know if Vine is... I mean, obviously, 
it'll be a good competitor to uh, TikTok, YouTube Reels, Instagram Reels. I don't know if we need Vine. It would definitely have to be back to that. It have to be a minute. It cannot be 60 seconds like it was. I mean, six seconds like it was in the past. I was never a Viner, but that stuff seemed trash if you're watching Vines. Maybe you got some legendary moments. <laughs> I might be tripping, but it didn't seem that crazy. And you also have to implement all, you have to catch up basically to all the stuff that all the other apps, you have to start paying people. YouTube is trying to pay people 50% uh, starting, next year, starting next year. TikTok, if you have over 100,000 subscribers, uh, I mean followers, you can start getting paid 50% of like the purse or whatever you're supposed to get. Stuff like that, you need to start doing that on Vine. So I don't know if Twitter could do that because they're not profitable. So yeah, that's about where we're at right now with the Twitter stuff. Uh, Elon, this will be a rough thing. I, ho I hope you make it through because I would love to see uh, success and everything. Well, let, me, let, me, let me hear your opinion about all this. I mean, it'll be an interesting story to follow, but if not, watch another. This is my first Twitter video. If you guys want to watch it, if not, see you guys in a bit.